straight out to Jane Gasaris, legal correspondent in session just back from Lima, Peru. Jane, what can you tell me about Jorn Vandersloot? Here we have him mocking Natalie's memory from behind bars. And not only that, a $50,000 jailhouse spending spree. Before I get to all the money he's throwing around from behind bars, what about him losing it, nutting up after Natalie's mother confronts him behind bars about Natalie's murder? What happened? Well, Nancy, the reports are coming out of Castro. Castro, outside of Lima right now, that Jorn Vandersloot actually attacked one of the guards because he believed he was trying to serve him food to poison him to death. Now, Nancy, the director of prisons told me it was a very real concern. They were concerned that other inmates would try to poison Joran Vandersloot. When I was there, Nancy, he was getting specialized food because that was such an issue with staff at Castro Castro. Joining us tonight, in addition to our panel of lawyers, Eleanor Odom, Renee Rockwell, Peter Odom, also with us is Michael Griffith, international criminal defense attorney. Michael, you have handled cases in Peru. You have handled cases from in the walls of Castro Castro. What about this theory that Jorn Vandersloot nutted up because he was afraid he was being poisoned and then tried to escape? It sounds more like an escape attempt to me. Well, you know, Nancy, good evening, Nancy. You know, I, I have said on your, on your show before more than once that there could be an, attempted, an attempt at his life because of what he did and because of who the daughter was. Um, the food there is, is cooked by prisoners, not by, not by, the, uh, not by the commissary. And uh, for this to happen to him, I'm really not surprised. And if they're going to send him, as, as, and I don't believe it was a real es escape attempt, because the security around Castro Castro is, is it's very secure. Uh, but I, 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 believe, I believe that if they do, if he is punished, they're probably going to send them into general population, which is absolutely terrible. That's where the lowest of the low go, because where he is right now is a fairly a cushy section. Well, as you know right now from these and other headlines, Jorn Vandersloot was sent to solitary confinement. Now, how did that come about, Jane Casares? Well, after he punched the guard, he, he did run, and he got through one cell door, and then he was surrounded by security. They got him to the ground, got him back in his cell, but they wanted to show him who's boss at Castro Castro, so his protective custody status went to solitary confinement status for 24 hours in a darkened room with no food.